fans, and welcome to another French Fred Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our 7 Stars Kyushu Train, and we're going to be building this deluxe sleeper car for the end of the train. And as you can see, it has a full length window on the rear end. So let's get right into the build. So our first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler and attach that up. Under it, a dark oak fence gate and a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then on the next block down behind it on bottom, three polished black stone walls across the rails. Then on the side of it, open a dark oak fence gate like this on each side. Above this, three polished black stone blocks in the middle and an upside down polished black stone stair facing outward on either side. Then a right side up polished black stone stair on the second layer of either side and three polished black stone blocks across the middle. Then five nether brick across here. Then an upside down polished black stone stair facing outward on either side. Then on the next block down behind this, a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, a 3x4 of polished deep slate slabs. Then a netherite wheel on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then on this second layer, fill the top middle three to the end of this truck with polished black stone block. Then on this second layer, we're going to extend a line of polished black stone blocks one block above the rail, 31 blocks long past those wheels. Once you have 31 blocks, we'll do the truck at this end, so on the next block down, netherite on each rail again, with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, a 3x4 of polished deep slate slabs, and then netherite on each rail again, with an end rod axle. Then, above this truck, we'll fill the top middle three with polished blackstone. Then behind it on the second layer, a 3x3 three three of polished blackstone. Once we have that, on the next block down behind that, we're going to get three polished blackstone walls across the bottom. Then we're going to swing around behind this here, an upside down polished black stone stairs, three of them facing that way in front of the walls, then open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the walls here. On this next block up above here, we're going to put five upside down nether brick stairs. Then above those, five nether brick blocks. Then we'll come back up to the front of the car here, underneath. And we're going to leave a gap of one and put a row of four blast furnaces and extend them all the way out to this side of the tracks. And we'll come over to the other side and put four on this side. Then we'll leave a space of two here. put two blast furnaces, extend them out to this side, then skip two again, and another two extended out to this side. Come around on this side crouch, and extend all these blast furnace rows over to the side of the tracks on this side here. After that, we'll swing back over on this other side so it's easier to place. We're going to switch to polished black stone wall, leave a gap of space right here, four walls, then another four on the side here. Come over here, leave the middle open, get four on this rail, and another four on the side. Skip a block forward and do a two by two of polished black stone on the second layer and fill this two rows of three under here with grindstones. So it looks like that. 
once we have that, we're going to go back to polish blackstone walls here. Skip a block back here with polished blackstone walls underneath. And we're going to do six coming up. Then extend it out another six, one to the side here. Then same as before, we'll skip over, leave the middle open, and two rows of six on this side. Then once we have all that, we'll fill in these two up here with polished blackstone on this second layer and behind here so that the whole thing on the second layer is three blocks wide. And bring it right down to the other end here. We're also going to come up in this gap in the center of it do three polished deep slate under here and an upside down polished deep slate stair facing outward on the side and a stair on this side. Now come on the sides of the truck on the wheels put a skeleton skull then a polished deep slate wall next to each one in the middle two lightning rods horizontal. Repeat it on this truck down here so skulls on the wheels then walls then lightning rods in the center. Then we do the other side, same pattern, and one more corner to go here, skulls on the wheels, then walls, then two lightning rods. Then we're going to come up on this next layer up on this outside edge, and we'll do a full line of nether brick blocks going end to end. bring it right down here and we do the same thing on this side a full line of nether brick blocks on the outside edge of this second layer going down to the other end here then underneath this end on the outside edge three nether brick slabs right here and same thing on this side three nether brick slabs right here. Then we'll come back down to this end again and another brick slab under this stair and this stair here. Then we'll come back up top and we're gonna do another full line of nether brick on this outside edge down to the other end. And same thing over here, another full line of nether brick, down to the other end. Then we're going to fill this whole top middle three, end to end, with jungle wood planks. Now we'll come down to the front end of the car here, put a door above this stair, and this stair, and then a door on the center of the end. Then a two by two of nether brick on either side of this door, and two rows of nether brick all the way across above it here. Then a polished black stone button on each of these top corners, and a birch button on each of these bottom corners. Then we'll swing around in front of it, and we'll do another full line of nether brick blocks down this top outside edge to the very end of the car. And we'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of nether brick on this side to the end of the car. And we leave this end middle three open. After that, we'll come back up to this front end of the car here where the door is, and on this top outside edge, next to where the door is, we're going to extend down five nether brick, and then we're going to fill in above the door all the way to the top to the end of that section. 
then once we have that, we'll repeat the process on this side. So five nether brick, and then fill in the rest all the way to the top to the end of this section. On this side, we're gonna put one more column of three nether brick right here in this corner. So three right here. Then right here, we're gonna do a four by two of light blue stained glass panes. A column of three nether brick in front of it and cover the top with nether brick. Then behind that, we'll do a second column of nether brick in two rows of three stained glass panes. Then a column of nether brick behind it, cover the top. Then we'll move down behind that and we're gonna do two more columns of three nether brick behind it here. So two columns right here. Then on the end of this, on the inside, put a column of jungle wood planks right here. Then we're gonna come down here and one block in front of this window, a column of nether brick planks right there. Then behind this, we're gonna do six nether brick blocks coming down. So six right here. And we'll raise that up to the top till the end of this section here. Then a column of jungle wood planks on the end of it inside right there. Then behind that section, we'll extend down another six nether brick blocks and we'll raise that to the top. And then same thing on the inside at the end of this here, a column of jungle wood planks. And then on the end of this here, two more columns of three nether brick. Then we'll do a three by two of stained glass panes here. Column of nether brick behind it and come across the top. Then another column of nether brick behind it. Then a four by two of stained glass panes here. Then a column of nether brick behind it, come across the top and fill in down to the end of this, to the top of it with nether brick. Then we're gonna come on this side here where this first divider is, another column of jungle wood to the top and then two on top on this side. Over here, on this one, two on top right here. This one, another full column. This one, two on top like that. Then come back down to this side and the window pattern on this side is different. So in this corner here, we're gonna put five nether brick blocks and then extend that up to the top. In front of it here, knock out these three and put a three by two of stained glass on the bottom and two layers of nether brick above it and a column of nether brick behind it. Then two more columns of nether brick behind it. Then right here, a three by two of stained glass. Another brick across the top, column and other brick behind it. Then behind that, a two by two of stained glass. Come across the top with nether brick and a column behind it. Behind that, extend out four nether brick and raise it up to the top. Then two more columns of nether brick here. Then we're gonna extend five nether brick across this bottom behind it. Then two stained glass panes, a space, two stained glass panes. Nether brick in the middle, come across the top with nether brick. Then a column of nether brick behind that. Then two more columns of nether brick. I started to go farther, but that was a mistake. Just two columns of nether brick here because we need a window right here aligned with the one on the other side. So I took out where I went too far here. And 
and then a four by two of stained glass here. Come across the top with nether brick and then fill in down to the end of the car to the top with nether brick here. Then in this end, we're gonna do a three by three of stained glass. Because there's a big observation window on the end of the train here. Then come across the very top with nether brick on top of that glass. Now come up by this side door and a column of three iron bars on either side of this. Same thing on this side, three iron bars on either side up here. Then we'll do all the detailing on the side. Come over on this side next to this iron bar. Knock out one block, skip a space, knock out four. Skip a space, knock out one. Fill those with gold. Then one block above the center of this, a two by two knocked out and fill that with a two by two of honey. And then we'll move down here. So in between here, we're gonna knock out three, put in honey, three birch buttons on our. Then we're gonna come down to the end of the car, on the third block in from the end, knock out this one, put in honey, and a birch button under it. Then we'll swing around to the other side, and we're gonna do the same thing on the end of this side. So on this third block in, knock out this one, put in honey, and a birch button under it. Then we're gonna come over where this big area of nether brick is, and I'm using blocks to count over here. On this level, count over four blocks, knock out the fifth one. Then we don't need those. Skip a space over, knock out a row of six on that same level. Skip one over, knock out one. Put gold in all of those. And on the center, skip one block up, knock out a two by two here, and put in a two by two of honey. Then we'll come over here, up here, knock out this one, put in honey, and a button under it. Then on this end of the car, where the door is, put a trap door in the middle under it. Then on either side of the trap door, a polished black stone brick wall, and extend those walls up both sides of the door and across the top here. Then we're gonna take out oak signs. And we're gonna start on top, on the side above where this first big window is, and we're gonna drag down a line of blank oak signs. And we're gonna come two blocks past this final window on this side. Come over here, align with this wooden divider up here, and do a line of blank oak signs up on this side coming this way. At this end, we stop above the end of this final window. Now we'll start doing these deluxe bigger suites in here. So we're gonna come in at this front end. Right here, a dark prismarine stair, two slabs for the couch bed. Then here, crimson stairs in a pattern like that to make a couch. Right here, three temporary blocks because there's a desk. Close a trap door on either side of it, three trap doors across the top. Take out the temporary blocks. Then on the third block up above this bed, a torch and a torch right here. Then the walls are supposed to be wood. So everywhere that we can, that we haven't built something, we're gonna start closing jungle trap doors on the wall here. All down here and two layers up to the top of these windows here. And two right here. Then we're gonna come all the way down past all this here and do the suite at this end. 
So come down to this end, and we're gonna turn around right here. And actually right here, we need to put two more jungle wood planks, then dark prismarine stair, two slabs, and above it a torch. Then there's a couch here, and we're gonna use crimson stairs, four blocks long in a pattern like this for a couch. Over here, four temporary blocks because there's a desk. Close trap doors on the sides of it. And then trap doors across the top. Take out these temporary blocks. Then this has the observation window at the end, so there's more seating down here. And for that, we'll use crimson stairs again. Right here. We'll make another four block long couch and one on this side. Some pictures show chairs and couches here, some show a table. I did the couches because we don't really have space for a table and chairs. Then we're gonna come up here and start closing jungle trap doors on the wall. Two up here, one here, two rows up here, and then cover all this to that same layer with trap doors. Then we'll start doing this side as well. Two layers up here, down in between here, two layers up here, two layers down here, one in the middle, and we'll stop right there because we can't put them on that side where these bathrooms are going to be. Now we'll do these bathrooms, so come in here. We'll take out an end portal for the toilet. And we're going to put one down right here in the middle on this side. Then one right here behind the divider. Then in here, skip a black forward on the other side. Put a cauldron. Fill it with water. Hit it with light blue dye. Same thing here. Skip a black forward. Cauldron. Water. Light blue dye. Then next to the cauldron, we're going to put a column of three light blue stained glass panes. Then down in here, an iron trap door, a button, and a trip wire hook. Then come down here next to this one, iron trap door in the corner, stone button, trip wire hook. Then three light blue stained glass panes, and that's for the shower there. Then we'll come in here, put a torch right here and here so the bathrooms are lit. Now we need to do the rest of the interior walls and we're going to be using doors for this so we can fit. Turn this way right here, take out spruce doors and start putting a line of spruce doors for this wall. Keep bringing it down, one right there, one right there, right there a jungle door to represent the actual door to the room, then a jungle door to this bathroom. Then we'll skip over back to spruce doors here. And come past that bathroom. Right here in the center of this bathroom, a jungle door to enter, enter that one. Right here, take that one out, put a spruce door sideways like that. And two jungle wood planks above it, because that's the entrance for this room. This room has a partial hallway going to the bathroom because it's the biggest room on the train. And now that we've used doors, we can actually fit through this hallway here and actually come in. This room's bathroom is accessed through here. And then we'll come back up top. On that far edge, we're gonna put upside down jungle wood stairs facing that way coming across all of these and all the way down to the end of the car here just like that then we're gonna come back up here stand on here and crouch and we need to put a full row of spruce trap doors on top of all of these doors here to fill in the rest of that wall right to here and then come past this and trap doors above these doors as well 
that will come back through, close all these trap doors so it covers the wall. Then we're going to turn around this way in the center and put upside down stairs facing this way so the roofs of the room have a nice curve to them. Same thing on these bathrooms, upside down stairs in the middle here and across here. Then on this bigger room, we stop. Come back up here in this gap, upside down stairs facing this way so the hallway roof is curved. And keep bringing it all the way down. And bring it all the way past here. And all the way down to the end of the car on this side. Then in this center gap, we'll fill that with jungle wood slabs. So the whole ceiling is covered here. Now we're gonna come down to this end here and there's a storage area at this end. We'll put a column of three bookshelves here and then we'll extend jungle wood planks three forward to the top, cover the top on this side with jungle wood planks. Put a door here, a plank above it, so you can get in that storage closet. Then we're going to grab a torch, put a torch on each side above these end doors, and fill the rest of this top with jungle wood planks here. And now the interiors, all the way done. Across this front end of the car on top, two rows of polished deep slate slabs. Then on the outside edge behind that, we're going to do three outward facing deep slate tile stairs, skip a block, three more. Same thing here, so three stairs, skip a block, three more. Then behind all the stairs, we're gonna put three deep slate tile blocks on each side, then three polished deep slate blocks in the centers of them. This gap, polished deep slate slabs across it, then polished deep slate slabs on the end here. Then we'll come down to the rear end on top here, on this, a polished deep slate stair facing outward on either side, blocks across the center. Then in front of it on the side, we're going to do 10 polished deep slate stairs. And 10 on this side. Fill the middle three to the end of this section with polished deep slate blocks. Then five polished deep slate slabs here. Then three deep slate tile stairs, a space, and three. Same thing here, three, a space, and three. Three deep slate tile blocks on the back of all four of these sets of stairs. Polish deep slate blocks in the centers. Polish deep slate slabs in here. And a row of slabs here. Then we fill the rest of the side with outward facing polished deep slate stairs. Same thing on this side. And we'll fill this whole center in three wide with polished deep slate blocks until the whole roof is covered here. Right down to this end here. Then we need to make a banner here so we're going to come into a loom with a brown banner and yellow die. We'll put a diagonal and a horizontal on top. Switch to brown die, put a brown border around it. Then we'll come up to the front of the car here. And right here, next to this door, put one here and one on this side. Now come down to the very end of the car here. Under this window, we're gonna put five birch buttons coming across. Then on the very top middle, a glow item frame with a redstone block in it. Then on each side on the bottom of the window, a redstone torch here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Seven Stars Kyushu Train Deluxe Sleeper Car for the end of the train. So this finally completes this train. 
I hope you've enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week.